Welcome to the Rheumatoid Arthritis Lecture 2B. This is the second part of the second lecture in the series of uh, lectures on rheumatoid arthritis. Here we are going to discuss the validated measures of disease activity uh, that include the rheumatoid arthritis disease activity score called as DAS28 and rheumatoid arthritis clinical disease activity index. Here we uh, take into account the patient's uh, global uh, assessment of uh, disease activity and the evaluator's uh, assessment of the disease activity on a scale of 1 to 10 with 10 being the maximal disease activity and uh, tender joint count and the swollen joint count are ta also taken into consideration. <coughs> In uh, Rheumatoid Arthritis Disease Activity Score, DAS28, ESR and uh, Global Health uh, Rating, which is again 0 to 10, with 10 being uh, the maximal activity as reported by the patient. Um, we also take into account the tender joint count and the swollen joint count in this uh, while calculating the score. Uh, a DAS28 reduction uh, by 0 0.6 represents a moderate improvement, whereas a, a reduction of more than 1.2 represents a major improvement in patient's health. Synovial fluid examination is necessary with any new onset effusion to rule out other disorders and differentiate rheumatoid arthritis from other inflammatory arthritis, for example, septic arthritis or crystal-induced arthritis. In rheumatoid arthritis, during active joint inflammation, synovial fluid is turbid, yellow, and sterile, and uh, usually has uh, 10,000 to 50,000 white blood cells per microliter. Polymorphonuclear leukocytes typically predominate, but uh, more than 50% may be lymphocytes or other mononuclear cells. Characteristically, crystals are absent in rheumatoid arthritis. Differential diagnosis of rheumatoid arthritis would include crystal-induced rheumatoid arthritis, that is gout, uh, crystal-induced arthritis, uh, gout, and then systemic lupus erythematosus, SLE, sarcoidosis, reactive arthritis, psoriatic arthritis, ankylosing spondylitis, hepatitis C-related arthritis, and osteoarthritis. Rheumatoid factor can be non-specific and is often present in several autoimmune diseases. The presence of anti-CCP antibodies is more specific for rheumatoid arthritis. For example, hepatitis C can be associated with an arthritis similar to rheumatoid arthritis clinically and that is rheumatoid factor positive. However, anti-cyclic citrullinated peptide antibody is negative in these patients. Some patients with crystal-induced arthritis may meet the criteria for rheumatoid arthritis. However, synovial fluid examination should clarify the diagnosis as the crystals would be absent in the synovial fluid of a patient with rheumatoid arthritis. The presence of crystals makes rheumatoid arthritis unlikely. Joint involvement and subcutaneous nodules can result from gout, cholesterol, and amyloidosis as well. Aspiration or biopsy of these nodules may occasionally be needed. SLE usually can be distinguished if there are skin lesions on light exposed areas, hair loss, oral and nasal mucosal lesions, absence of uh, joint erosions in even long-standing arthritis, Joint fluid that often has less than 2,000 white blood cells per microliter and those predominantly being mononuclear cells. Antibodies to double-stranded DNA, presence of renal disease and low serum complement levels. In contrast to rheumatoid arthritis, deformities in SLE are usually reducible and lack erosions and bone or cartilage damage on imaging studies.
arthritis similar to rheumatoid arthritis can also occur in other rheumatic disorders for example polyarthritis systemic sclerosis dermatomyositis or polymyositis but they can be features of more than one disease which suggests an overla overlap syndrome or mixed connective tissue disease sarcoidosis whipple disease multicentric reticulohistiocytosis and other systemic diseases may involve joints other clinical features and tissue biopsy sometimes help differentiate these conditions acute rheumatic fever has a migratory pattern of joint involvement and evidence of antecedent streptococcal infection from culture or change in anti streptolysin otitis in contrast to rheumatoid arthritis tends to involve additional joints over time reactive arthritis can be differentiated by antecedent gastrointestinal or genitourinary symptoms asymmetric involvement and pain at the achilles insertion of the heel sacroiliac joints and large joints of the leg conjunctivitis arthritis painless buccal ulcers balanitis or keratoderma uh, balanoragicum on the soles and elsewhere psoriatic arthritis tends to be asymmetric and is not usually associated with rheumatoid factor but clinical differentiation may be difficult in the absence of nail or skin lesions distal interphalangeal joint involvement in severely mutilating arthritis is strongly suggestive as is the presence of a diffusely swollen sausage like digit distinguishing between psoriatic arthritis and rheumatoid arthritis is important because response to different drugs differs between these two diseases ankylosing spondylitis may be differentiated by spinal and axial joint involvement absence of subcutaneous nodules and a negative rheumatoid factor test the hla b27 allele is present in 90% of the patients with ankylosing spondylitis Osteoarthritis can be differentiated by the joints involved, the absence of the rheumatoid nodules, systemic manifestations or significant amount of rheumatoid factor, and by the synovial fluid white blood cell count which is less than 2000 per microliter. Osteoarthritis of the hands most typically involves the distal interphalangeal joints, basis of the thumbs and pro uh, proximal interphalangeal joints. It may involve the metacarpophalangeal joints but typically spares the rest. Rheumatoid arthritis does not affect the distal interphalangeal joints. Prognosis of rheumatoid arthritis. Rheumatoid arthritis decreases life expectancy, uh, expectancy by three to seven years with heart disease, infection, gastrointestinal bleeding accounting for the most excess mortality. Drug treatment, cancer, as well as the underlying disease may be responsible. Disease activity should be controlled to lower cardiovascular risk in all patients with rheumatoid arthritis. At least 10% of the patients are eventually severely disabled despite full treatment. White patients and women have a poor prognosis, as do patients with subcutaneous nodules advanced age at the onset, inflammation in more than 20 joints, early erosions, cigarette smoking and high ESR, and high levels of rheumatoid factor or anticyclic citrullinated peptide antibody titer. This brings us to the end of part B of the second lecture on rheumatoid arthritis.